May I present the Honorable Miss Fisher? Lady Detective. This is the scene of a crime. I'm sure the police will do their best to find the culprit, but I'd like to help. I appreciate your curiosity for crime. Well, every lady needs a hobby. Why do you think you can just run off on your own? Because I'm carrying a gun. Do you like to take another look at the body with me? Is that an invitation? Well, I could wait all day for yours. Hi, I'm the Arn, and today I'd like to introduce you to a really fun TV show from Australia called Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. My goal with this channel is to bring well-deserved attention from movies and TV shows from around the world and across the decades. This show is set in 1920s Melbourne and follows the wealthy and free-spirited woman named Franny Fisher as she solves intricate murders in a fun and glamorous way. must be the inspector. Apologies for my urgent call of nature. This is the scene of a crime. Well, lucky for you, I'm wearing gloves. Miss Franny Fisher. I assume you weren't close to the deceased. Never had the pleasure, but by all accounts he was charming. Do you think it was poison? Most likely. We are yet chef. to determine the cause of death. Miss Fisher, I appreciate... Franny, played by Essie Davis, is a charming, philanthropic, spirited modern woman taking full advantage of the new industrial age. The talented actress does a phenomenal job giving the character and the show as a whole a captivating and binge-worthy energy. I love how this character, and the show in general, present a turn-of-the-century feminist without making her a one-dimensional, bitter, offended, overly powerful and perfect serial victim. She's strong and confident, but also capable of failing and messing up. She doesn't rely on physical force, but rather uses her intellect and her charm to get men to help her when needed. She can take insults with grace and accept help without being insulted. And most of all, she comes across as genuinely equal and competent without the writers having to degrade and demasculate all the men around her. A fantastic example of how to do a strong female character in film. Of course. Do you have a card? In case I need to call the police. Because I'm a woman alone, newly arrived in a dangerous town. I plan to make this town less dangerous, Miss Fisher. Good. I do like a man with a plan. Detective Inspector Jack Robinson. Nathan Page plays Detective Inspector Jack Robinson, who quickly develops a deep respect for Franny's skill as a PI, and over the course of the show, they form a close friendship with unspoken romantic tension. This character plays off the protagonist so well, his strengths and intelligence complementing Franny's, and their chemistry in the opposites attract kind of way really makes them a perfect team. As I mentioned, I really appreciate the writers not making him a bumbling idiot in order to make the woman look better. That trope is so actually sexist and incredibly insulting to women, and it sets a dangerous expectation of and for men. I apologize for the mini rant, it's just one of my biggest pet peeves. But anyway, I love the respect shown to both characters with this kind of grounded equality in the writing. Hugo Johnston Burke plays Constable Hugh Collins, the inspector's second in command who pairs well off of Ashley Cummings' Dorothy Williams who is Miss Fisher's companion. The two grow close throughout the show, bonding over the crazy situations their superiors get them into. Other characters of note are Bert and Sess, tough and connected cab drivers who often help with the investigations, Jane Rose, a street child Franny takes in, and Aunt Prudence, Franny's wealthy relative. A lady detective and a police officer happened to meet up 12,000 miles away from home at the scene of a murder of a complete stranger. Not unusual in my experience, sir. Neither of you are leaving London until this case is solved. 
In 2020, fans actually crowdfunded a continuation movie called Miss Fisher and the Crypt of Tears. Stepping right back into the action as if it never left off, the film feels just like a longer, higher budget episode and I love that. It successfully recaptures the same energy as the show, while cleanly tying up its loose ends. Very well made and respectful to the fans. This show is extremely fun, whether you like murder mysteries, period dramas, or adventure shows. The acting is great, the writing is intelligent, and the sets and costumes are gorgeous. There are three seasons with 34 episodes, as well as the movie, and it can currently be purchased on Prime along with many other streaming services. The show does include mature topics, sex, and violence. None of it's overbearing or overly graphic, but if that's not for you, then just give it a pass. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you find this show as enjoyable and as binge-worthy as I did. Please consider like, sharing, and subscribing if you'd like to help support me and this fledgling channel to see where it goes. Thank you!